wanna know his secret? What's up guys, Grenader here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a logo and basically I'm going to be showing you how to get like your idea that you have on paper into the computer and like at least get something on the computer to which you can work off of and make better and better and better revisions every so often that you want to. So I'm making this video um, to add to the tutorialness that my channel grew up with and so here we go one of the steps you want to do is get uh, Photoshop up or if you d can't do this in Photoshop do it in paint but I'm gonna be showing you how to do it in Photoshop um, you can do it in GIMP you can do it in any other editing software now when you open up your canvas make sure it's in 720p why because that way if you need to shrink it it looks even better than it was before and if you need to stretch it Wait, you don't have to stretch it because it's big. Ooh, mind blower. Okay, here we go. So, uh, let's say you have an idea in mind and you don't know how to put it on the computer. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. And the tool that we're going to use is the polygonal lasso tool or in any other program, the equivalent to that I think is like a line drawer or something like that. Now hopefully by the time you're watching this video, you have a design in mind. You're not watching this without having a design in mind because then it's going to be way harder for you to do so. So what you want to do is that you want to pause the video and go out and breathe air or you know relax and chill and then you like the logo is basically the thoughts in your mind and you want to get that on paper you want to draw it out and you're gonna come up with like three or four logos and you're gonna like all four but you need to pick one so hopefully you got one in mind now I don't have one in mind and you can do what I'm doing right now which I don't recommend because usually logos that are done like this don't come out well is uh, to just draw it out randomly, sporadically, and that's what I'm doing right now. Bam! Um, I don't like that black. I'm gonna make it blue or red because Grenader. Okay, so I didn't really like that logo I made, so I duplicated it, flipped it, and just played around with it, and I like this so far. It looks abstract, it looks pretty clean, and I'm gonna right click and hit convert to smart object, which will make it into one just single tied together object. So from here on out, the video is basically over. You just take off the background, file, save as. But I wanna do much more than that. This is a 2D logo, and it's supposed to be 2D and simple, but I wanna add some things to it. Now, I want to add some text to it. Um, this is going to essentially, let me just copy this real quick and show you like a visual of what it'll look like once you put it into your editing software. So give me just one second to browse real quick. Um, I got this off of Google. Um, your logo and how it'll look in action. So as you can see, it's huge. But now when you shrink it down, it's uh, not that huge and it doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty good because the pixels are compressed and they look even better. The smaller the pixels are, the better it looks. So here's your logo and this is how it looks. So in essence, this is going to be your logo as your video is playing. So um, sometimes um, I like putting text on mine like across like through the logo or under it or you know a subliminal like G or something right to make it look different. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna leave it how it is I'm not gonna add any text but I'm just gonna add some shadows and stuff like that to it so let's get right into that okay so I added a shadow and I like it where's the shadow at well it's a small subliminal like light shadow that is in like the logo itself it's not so it's surrounding it but it's not like on the side. So here's without it and here's with it. I think it looks pretty cool. And how I did that is that I double clicked on the layer and I went to uh, drop shadow, right? And I went to the distance. I put a little bit, you know, normal distance. You don't want it down there at 3000, but um, you can leave it at zero. I like just putting it just a little bit, like maybe three. Um, there's not really of a difference, but I like it at three. Don't judge. Okay, here we go. Uh, the size is what you want to increase. So the number or the sweet spot for this logo in particular is 111 or 111. And, you know, maybe for yours, the sweet spot is higher. But for me, it's at 111. 
and that is where it's uh, the shadow is present, but not you know it doesn't bother the logo. It doesn't take away from the logo itself. Okay, here we go. So now I have the gradient overlay on it, and I like the way it looks. Again, it adds just a little more pizzazz to it, a little bit more stronger color of whatever you pick. And so now what I did is I left the blend mode on normal, normal, and normal. I'm just kidding, guys. I left the opacity at the way it is. Um, I've reversed the um, the gradient so that way it looks like it looks right now and it doesn't look washed out and what I ended up doing is I changed the colors from a solid red to a lighter shade of red so whatever color you have like let's say you got green you want the stronger color at front sort of like a really strong green like the green that's all the way up to the corner like up to here and at, at this side you want a lighter shade of whatever color you pick and then you hit ok uh, the style i chose radial you can play with these um things right here like this one doesn't look that bad reflected doesn't look that bad just a little bit less of it because you don't want it uh, you know obscuring the because you want to show off your logo but you don't want to show off that you know the photoshop stuff so here we go this is you know looking pretty good the scale is at 55 angle uh since it's radial it doesn't matter but for this since it's reflected it kind of matters so i guess if you did it like this where the lighter colors are here in the middle like where that where it splits and i think that's pretty much it you can add more stuff like you know bevels and um, patterns and stuff like that but I like to keep it simple so this is the end of the logo so in the end the logo looks like this and if we duplicate it real quick and we move this over here hit control T shrink it a little bit not too much and put it up here it looks pretty damn dope because it's just I don't know I love it I love how it looks so this is pretty much it guys Thank you for watching and actually before I sign off I want to show you guys how to save real quick you just hit control s or you go up to file and save as you hit png that way it stays transparent you can overlay it over anything name it whatever and done so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a comment down below and if you love the content that I post make sure to subscribe and smack that like button and if you have any other questions or suggestions on what I should do next, it could be on, you know, in an editing program, it could be in Photoshop, it could be in After Effects, you pick and I'll do it. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, you know what to do.